A computer went on sale for 11% off its original price. The sale price is given as $267. What was the original price of the computer? To solve a problem like this, we want to go back to our percent equation, our basic percent equation, which says that we have a percent of a base, which means percent multiplied times our base equals our amount. And how are we going to incorporate this idea into our problem? Well, we have to figure out what our percent is, what our base is, and what our amount is. In our problem, we're told that we have a sale price of $267. And we're trying to find the original price. Notice our original price is the base. That's where we're starting. So the original price is what's going to take the place of our base in this percent equation. So this is where we're going to have our original price for our computer. And the discounted price, the sale price, actually turns out to be the amount after the discount. So $267 takes the place of amount in this equation. Finally, we have our percent, and we're really tempted right away to put 11% in there, but let's read the thing a little, you know, read the problem a little closer here. A computer went on sale for 11% off its original price. That means that $267 represents a discount of 11%. What, what does that mean? Well, if we took the original 100%, which is what the original price is, 100% of its cost, and we subtract off that discount of 11%, that tells us that the new computer is actually sitting at 89% of the original price. Does that make sense? Like the original price is 100%, but we're discounting 11%. So that means this new price, the sale price, is only 89% of the original price. This percentage, 89% here, is the one that we're going to use in our percent equation. 89% of the original price is $267. That makes sense. We don't know what that original price is. In fact, we could use a variable if we wanted to. We could use the variable x to represent the original price, in which case our equation simply becomes 0.89 for 89% times the original price, which is x, equals 267. And this equation right here will help us solve this problem. How do we get x by itself? Well, we simply divide both sides of the equation by 0.89, right? And after we divide both sides by 0.89, that tells us that we have x left over and x is equal to 267 divided by 0.89. Pulling out scientific calculator, we get, or just simple calculator, we get that x is 300. That means the original price for the computer was $300. 267 representing 89% of that original price, and that represents an 11% discount. I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.